Now let's step into the future, into a world where anything is possible. That's where Ubuntu is designed. Today there are many different devices for personal computing. Laptops, tablets, smartphones. And we use completely different interfaces for them, even when they come from the same company. Now that seems a little bizarre when you consider that all of these devices are just different faces of the same thing. You have apps, you have content, contacts and messages, and you need to access them in a way that suits your situation. That's why we set out to create something completely new, a family of interfaces for each of these devices, individually great in their own right, and also coherent as a group. Here's the Ubuntu TV. It works beautifully with a single remote control. And here's the Ubuntu desktop. It's the best interface for creating content, getting serious stuff done and very easy to use. Now, when it came to designing the phone, our challenge was to distill all of that down to its true essence into something you can use in one hand. And in meeting that challenge, we've made something remarkable, something you're going to love. When you turn on the Ubuntu phone, you'll see something strikingly different. You'll see a beautiful reflection of yourself, a visualization of your life crafted by an artist, ever-changing, totally personal, and completely unique, just like you. As you use the phone, the image will evolve. It's like your signature, and it's stunning. It's not a lock screen, it's not a barrier. It's a welcome screen. We don't need a lock screen because Ubuntu is the first phone that uses every edge of the screen to take you directly to what you need. Each edge has a specific purpose. On the left here, you'll find all of your favorite apps. You don't need to unlock the phone before you choose an app, and you don't have a limited set of apps that are special to the lock screen. You can just go directly to any favorite app. It's still completely secure, but it's much easier to use. The beauty of Ubuntu is that you have all of your favorite apps in one gesture. There's room for all of the ones you use regularly. They are always here. You don't have to go back to a home screen first. You're in complete control. If you have hundreds of apps, you won't put them all on the left, but you still have fast access to them on the home screen, which is this button here at the bottom. By default, your recently used applications and the people you've recently spoken with are shown here, so you can call them back. Now you can customize this screen with information from hundreds of sources, from Wikipedia to online radio services and stores, and it's always neatly presented. There's a search box at the top which will find anything you want on the phone or online instantly. And the really cool thing about this search is that Ubuntu will figure out for itself what you're looking for and where best to search. You can see movies for download, tickets at the local cinema, and of course, books, all from different sources. It's one search to rule them all. Now this is an amazing online search and shopping experience because you see all of your results in one place. If you swipe sideways, you'll see the information you use most on the phone. Contacts, music, videos and apps. You can jump straight to any of these pages with a single gesture, so your most important information is just one touch away. On the apps page, you'll find apps that are installed and also apps available for download. You have one consistent way to find an app on any Ubuntu device, even if it isn't yet installed. And that's pretty amazing. Now let's dive into the world of apps. On the one hand, we know the web and HTML5 give you a wide range of apps for many devices. We also know that native apps give you the best experience. So on the Ubuntu phone, you get both. We've made web applications first-class citizens in Ubuntu. You have all of the major web properties, Facebook, Twitter, Spotify, Gmail, and any web application can send notifications or use system features like the messaging menu, just like a local app would. The great thing about HTML5 and web apps is that they work on any phone, but the downside is they're really very limited. So if you want to make truly beautiful apps for Ubuntu and take advantage of everything the hardware can do, then you create a native app, like this photo gallery. Native apps are faster and much more responsive. They have richer graphics, and it's amazingly easy to create them with the developer tools we've published. 
The ultimate native apps are intense graphical games, which are really important on the phone. And the good news is, we have the top games companies moving to support Ubuntu, and we're working with the leading graphics chip vendors to optimize their performance so that you can count on having all the best games in the palm of your hand as well. Gaming on Ubuntu phones is going to be great. With the full swipe across the screen from the left, we'll take you straight to the apps page. So one touch gives you instant access to all of your apps. Brilliant. We also noticed that people tend to switch between a few apps very often, so we made it incredibly easy to do just that. The right edge takes you straight back to the previous app. So if you just need to check something quickly, it's really easy to launch an app from the left and then go back to the previous one with a swipe from the right. This combination of left and right edge makes Ubuntu the handiest phone for using multiple apps to get stuff done fast. Up here at the top of the screen, we have the system status icons. And that's pretty standard stuff. It's similar to Android and Windows and the iPhone. What's great about Ubuntu, though, is you can use these icons to update the settings behind them without leaving your app. On Ubuntu, if you can see it, you can use it. Now, you can also hide the status icons, giving 100% of the screen to whatever it is that you're focused on. When they're hidden, you can still get to them. They're just on the edge there, as you'd expect. Hiding those icons helps to immerse you in your content. Now, on the desktop, Ubuntu has much more room for your application than any of its rivals. And on the phone, where space is naturally limited, that room is even more precious. So we invented a way for the Ubuntu phone to give you much more content than other smartphones with the same screen size. That's what the bottom edge does. It belongs to your app, and it has a very specific purpose to show or hide the buttons. You're in control of the controls, and the result is a cleaner, more spacious phone where the good stuff gets the screen all to itself. But what's really magic is that we also invented an amazing way to use apps without having any boring buttons at all. You can talk directly to the application and just ask it to do something for you. For example, just say Sepia. So all the rich capabilities of your desktop apps can finally come to the smartphone without cluttering up the screen. Your phone can stay clean and simple, but beneath the surface, it can pack all the punch of a PC. And because this is all pure Ubuntu, you have the full range of Ubuntu services under the hood, just like a PC, including the Ubuntu One personal cloud. And that means every app has the cloud built in. All of your photos and settings are backed up automatically. Your music is instantly accessible online, and you can share content through the web with just one tap. Awesome. And that's your tour of the Ubuntu phone. It reflects you beautifully when you turn it on. It has a unique home screen that organizes itself around your needs, and it leaves more space for the good stuff than any other phone. Everything you need is instantly available from the edge of the screen. That's why the Ubuntu phone will give you the edge.